Age-related macular degeneration is a neurodegenerative uh, retinal disease. It affects about 10% of adults over the age of 65 and affects them hugely significantly. Visari has developed an innovative platform of gene therapies that target late-stage dry AMD. The Visari gene therapy technologies are the result of pioneering research from the Farrar team at the School of Genetics and Microbiology at Trinity College Dublin. To tell us more from Visari, please welcome Loretto Callahan. One in 10 people over 65 will develop age-related macular degeneration, or AMD, a progressive eye disease. Of those, over 5 million will progress to a late stage of the disease where severe vision impairment and even blindness occurs. And yet, there are no treatments to either prevent or delay this disease progression. At Vizari, we are developing a first-in-class gene therapy that in a single treatment aims to prevent vision loss associated with late-stage AMD. AMD impacts the macula, that part of the retina that is involved in central vision, color vision, and acute high acuity vision. The first symptom may be experienced during reading when one or two letters in a word appear to be missing. And as the disease progresses, and as that central vision is lost, so too is that ability to read, to drive, and even recognize faces. And as one gentleman explained to me recently, he loves watching football on the TV. He can see that there's players in the pitch, but he can't see the action or the ball. Now, we know that age, smoking, and light exposure all increase the risk of developing AMD. But these also trigger mitochondrial dysfunction. Now, mitochondria, put simply, are like the battery pack of the cell, supplying energy for the cell to function. So if the battery is low, the cells can't function. And in the case of AMD, resulting in progressive loss of retinal cells, that then leads to progressive loss of vision. And as we, um, the Vizari gene therapy aims to boost that mitochondrial function and, in effect, restoring the battery pack. In preclinical studies across multiple models of, A of AMD, the gene therapy has been shown to restore mitochondrial function and to improve retina function, providing that first evidence globally that targeting mitochondrial dysfunction has benefit and can improve vision in AMD. The gene therapy is administered in a single, once-off subretinal injection and is the result of pioneering research from the Farrell Laboratory at Trinity College Dublin, the same team that established Genable that was um, acquired by Spark and subsequently Roche. The technology is patented in key geographies, including the US, the EU, and UK, and as a platform technology, is application in other ocular and neurodegenerative diseases. So the team at Fazari are now looking forward to spin out from Trinity, and we're looking to connect with investors to support the next stage of development to take us to first in human studies, and we're looking for six million over the next two years. The late stage AMD market estimated to be worth over five billion by 2030, represents a significant commercial opportunity for the Vizari technology. Our ambition is to positively impact and even transform the vision and lives of AMD patients globally. Thank you. Thank you, Loretta. Hi, Anton, how are you? I'm very good. It's funny listening to you. My, my grandfather had a macular degeneration. I remember him describing it as like a, a raindrop hanging in front of his eye. And every so he could see peripherally perfectly and then would be blinded when he moved his eyes towards it. Therefore, I assume the desire for it is evident and the market is evident. The question that I think people will have is, how close is this to being a reality or is there still a long road ahead? Okay, so um, we're at the preclinical stage, so there, indeed there is a long road ahead. We have to go through the next stages of um, development, um, which is biodistribution toxicology studies, which is what we're looking for the six million for. So beyond that, it's a couple of years. But you know, they, what we're seeing so what we've seen so far in the preclinical studies is positive. 
you know, and it really gives us a really nice signal that it's worth, um, it's worth chasing. So we're optimistic for what it and can do. And at what point patients. is the intervention necessitated? Is it when macular degeneration is first noticed, or is it a genomic analysis where you say this person has a predisposition, therefore we intervene? Okay, so that's maybe two, two, two questions in there, if I may. So the first thing, like any um, treatment, you're looking to get um, the right treatment to the right person at the right time. Um, so the right person, in answer to your question, is somebody who is at high risk of developing, of their disease progressing to that late stage where they've lost vision. And we know, we know a lot about the natural history of the disease, so we can predict who is going to progress it. So that's the right patient. Um, and the right time is to actually intervene early so that they get the maximum benefit from the right treatment, which in this case would be the desired technology. And give us a sense then briefly, the duration of that treatment. So for the right patient with the right intervention, how many years might they benefit if this all works? Okay, so this is, this is a once-off, so the benefit is for the lifetime of the patient. You know, we see already in those aged models in preclinical studies that is the durability of effect. And we expect to confirm that durability in our clinical studies. Right on. Thank you very much. Thank you, Anton.